Hello guys, we seen here. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up the Start Core Editor via your application. Maybe you use Unity, or maybe you use Godot, maybe you use some other things that um, support sending the additional parameter to the target application, so you can hook it up via VI or Vim or whatever, something like that. But in this case, let's say I have some some game project, and I don't want to, I don't really want to use the built-in Core Editor. I want to use VI or Vim, yeah, whatever it is called. So, in this case, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Um, what I have here is the core script that we're going to design whether the file is going to open newly or just open splitting into another tab in the same terminal process. Yep. So, you can try to study this sort code, code, code by yourself and it's, it's, it's it's, uh, it's not that difficult and also thanks to the Stinky Kama Ho that um, provide the original work on this as I modify the work on top to make it work on my system. Okay, so let's first firstly go to Unity and the example first. So in this case, um, you can click on edit preference and you're gonna see I'm already set up this one. Okay, I can do it again. Uh, so it's going to pop up, it's going to show asking you for the target application you're going to send the additional parameter to. In this case, we're going to do, we're going to send, we're going to try to find the binary of this genome terminal. If you didn't know it, we can do it like this. Which genome terminal? Yeah, this thing is called genome terminal. Yeah. So enjoy it. Oh, you know now that is add user bin and you know, you know you copy it copy it and then you go back to the part dialog box you type um control hold the control and then add it's gonna let you enter manually for the part and you just paste it enter and then yeah that's it and then do it do it again so you just double dash and then you you download that script that I showed you earlier, save to your home directory somewhere. In this case, I save it here at uh, my home, my screen name, and also script this thing. And you just make sure that it's already allowed to be executed. So you can do chain mod x open or split, and that's it. You copy it. Uh, and then you go back to the script and then open all script and then the first parameter for this script is the server name I'm gonna name it Unity and the next one is the part file path in which this is uh, by default of the Unity itself so you need to type like this and that's it Then you just try to find a certain script that you open it. So let me try with live trigger here. Double click on it. It's gonna right away show you new terminal process and edit that file via Vim. Okay, you see that? Yeah. You can do whatever you want here. Let's open another another script. Maybe observe here, and you can see the screen flash a little bit. But actually, it's open as another tab. You can see here. This is observer as a second tab. You can go back to the first tab here as well. Okay. So, note note this. I open. I switch back to live trigger here. And if I double click on observer again, it's gonna flash the same. And it's gonna switch back to observer without opening a new file unnecessary. So it's check whether the file is already existing open. It's not going to open again. So yeah, this solve our solution here, and that's it. You can edit the file and just go back to Unity, and then it's gonna take some time to compile. So okay, we're done with Unity as this case. Let's try another example with uh, Godot. This is the test example that I download from the internet. It's uh, like something like a three D inverse kinematics. We can do the same. So in this case, if you just click on some certain script, it's gonna show the built-in editor. 
in this case um, let's say I don't want to use this so what I do is gonna click on editor editor setting and then you're gonna search for external type external you under the text editor you're gonna see external here click on it you're gonna see three relevant options that you can setting use external editor okay check X execution part is gonna be the same because you're gonna send to genome terminal right you just copy it again uh, user bin genome terminal and we go back to good old paste right there and now the already provide five part parameter is, is here this is gonna do the same oh my screen name script you can copy the parameter that we already entered in Unity but in this case I'm gonna type right in open or script in this case I'm gonna name Godot because this is not the same as Unity anymore it's gonna open another terminal process we're gonna, we're gonna see it's gonna be Godot and then the five part that's it okay so let's just click on something else okay and then you're gonna click on script here now it's gonna open the new terminal as you can see here it's not the same terminal process that we already opened for the unity test the left one is gonna unity the right one is for Godot is separate so this is the good things about the server name feature on WIMP okay let, let, let me try to open another one come right here yeah, you're gonna see this open another script here as another tab and that's it I hope this thing solve your problem thank you for checking in hit the like and subscribe button thank you